my channel, this is my 31 week pregnancy update. Alright, so this week I've had another one of my checkups with my gynecologist. They weighed me, um, they also took my blood, they checked my urine and I had an ultrasound. I now weigh 148.8 pounds, so I'm still gaining weight, but I don't even want to talk about my weight gain. <laughs> so, moving on. Um, like I said, they also took my blood and they actually found out that I'm lacking uh, iron, so I now have to take iron supplements once a day. And I have to take them about 30 minutes before dinner and I have to take them with a glass of orange juice. No big deal. It's just one more pill that I gotta take. <laughs> and I hate swallowing pills, but to be honest, uh, it's gotten better. Like, I've I think I can say that I've gotten used to it, so it doesn't really bother me anymore. They also hooked me up on the fetal monitor, so the CTG, for 20 minutes. I think I've mentioned in another update that they do this at every one of those uh, checkups, just to monitor the heart rate and to also see if I have contractions, but no contractions yet. And the heart rate of baby boy has always been great, so there's nothing to worry about. My gynecologist also did an ultrasound. I didn't really expect to get an ultrasound at that appointment just because I had gotten one at the last one. Um, but she's going to be gone on vacation for two weeks and she's having another uh, gynecologist come into her office. Um, so she was there, like the new doctor was already there and she wasn't really familiar with the sonogram machine. My gynecologist suggested that she would try out the sonogram machine by just doing an ultrasound on me. Um, that way if she has any problems or questions she can ask my regular gynecologist while she's still there. Um, so I was happy <laughs> that I got to see baby boy, however I did not get any pictures. So she just did a quick ultrasound checking his uh, length. There's different body parts that they measure and then the computer calculates the weight and the length of baby and she was not happy at all with what the computer calculated because when she compared those numbers to the numbers from two weeks ago at my other um, appointment that I had you could see that he barely grew like seriously he barely grew um, so she wasn't happy with those numbers and then um, she told my gynecologist and then she came over and she was like, okay, well, maybe you just didn't measure right because you're not used to the sonogram machine. Let me take over. So she did another ultrasound. But she got the same numbers. She was a little bit concerned just because Baby Boy wasn't growing anymore. Um, and that obviously is a sign that something is wrong. So because of that, she scheduled another appointment with me two days later. And um, that's what I did. I went in again. They hooked me up on the fetal monitor once again but just like always everything was perfect there no contractions and his heart rate was in a normal range um, and then my gynecologist just did a quick ultrasound um, she checked his weight and his length and thank god he grew a little bit um, she still thinks that he's a little bit small but he's in a normal range or like right on the on the edge to being underweight but she keeps telling me that she doesn't think that I'm gonna have a huge baby anyway just because I'm small um, so uh, yeah like she told me that she expects his uh, birth weight to be 5.5 pounds uh, which I'm fine I'm fine with that like I don't need a nine pound baby <laughs> you know what I mean but um yeah so Baby boy now is 44 centimeters long and he weighs 1,733 grams. Um, so, like I said, he's a little tiny, but at least he grew. This week was also the first class of my prenatal class that I'm taking. Um, I mentioned in last week's update that it's a seven week long course. You meet once a week for two hours and this week was the first meeting. I was really nervous going there just because I had no idea what to expect. Um, the midwife that hosts the class is really nice and there are seven other pregnant women with me in that class and thank god I'm not the youngest. Like for some reason I was just really scared that I was going to be the youngest but there's one other girl and she's 22 so um, she's the youngest and then 
I'm the second youngest, but most of the ladies are in their 30s. We did a lot of talking at that meeting. Um, everyone had to kind of say a little bit about themselves, you know, introduce your, themselves. And uh, once everyone was finished, we ended up spending the entire rest of the evening just discussing the uh, mother pass and like what's in it. Now, if you're in the States, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So this right here is my mother pass. And you get this when you're in Germany and when you're pregnant. Like your gynecologist will give you this um, when you go there and they confirm the pregnancy. You'll get a little booklet like this. And it's called the mother pass. And you have to take it to every one of your appointments. And your gynecologist will write everything important in there. So everything is documented from your weight. And then all of the ultrasounds that you get, um, baby's development is documented in here. And then if you have to go to the hospital, you have to take this with you. And then the doctors at the hospital, they will write stuff down. So uh, your entire pregnancy basically is documented in here. So this is a really, really important thing to have. And you always have to have it with you. Like wherever you go, basically, even if it's just to the grocery store real quick, it has to be in your purse just because if you have an emergency, who knows what could happen, but if you do have one, um, it's really important that you have this on you for um, the paramedics so that they know exactly uh, who you are and uh, they know everything about your pr pregnancy. And uh, yeah, so this is just a really important uh, piece of document. I can't show you too much just because it has really <laughs> private information in there, but I can show you this one page. So this page is just like for ultrasounds where they um, write down like the different numbers, like the different measurements and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is a really, really important thing. And yeah, we ended up talking the entire two hours just about stuff that's in here. <laughs> I was a little disappointed, I gotta be honest, but I'm hoping that next week we'll actually do something other than just discuss this because... I already knew half the stuff that we talked about, so it was a little boring. But anyway, symptoms this week. I actually have to say that I caught the flu. I feel a little bit better already, but in the beginning it was just pure hell. Um, you know, I feel like when you're sick during pregnancy, it's ten times worse, and you obviously can't take anything. So I was just feeling miserable. Um, my nausea is still there, but I don't think it's morning sickness. Um, so other than that, it's just my back that's been really hurting and like my legs have been hurting too, like my calves, you know, those like growing pains. Uh, but I don't know, I don't have any like new symptoms other than the symptoms that I've been having from having the flu, but yeah. Um, one thing though, I actually took my belly button piercing out. <laughs> the final straw for me was when I bumped into my bedroom door and it hit the doorknob and it hurt so much. Um, the skin was really bruised and you could see there was like a little bit of bleeding going on like inside. So, well, obviously that's what a bruise is stuff. But um, after that, it was really hurting me and I just decided, you know what? It's time to take it out now. <laughs> I don't want to risk it ripping because, you know, obviously the skin got really um, stretchy and thin and I was just really scared that it was going to rip eventually and uh, it was causing me a lot of discomfort. So I just took it out and I'm really happy now that it is out just because my skin feels so much better. You have no idea how much better my skin feels now. Um, I almost regret not taking it out sooner. I do not plan on putting it back in anytime soon. It's going to stay out just because I thought about it. And, um, you know, once baby boy is a little bit bigger and, like, you start carrying him, the spot where your piercing is is right where his leg is going to sit. And I actually had really bad experiences with belly button piercings and toddlers while I was working at a preschool. They would always hit the piercing with their leg and it was really hurting. Um, you know, I had moments where I was really close 
to having my piercing ripped out by someone's leg. So because of that, I decided to just leave it out for now and maybe I'm going to put my piercing back in once baby boy is bigger, like, I don't know, four or five years old. But in the near future, it's going to stay out. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's everything that's been going on this week. I'm going to show you guys my belly now. Alright, so this is my belly with my shirt on from the front. And from the side. And from the side. And now with my shirt up. See, there's no piercing. From the front. From this side. And this side. Alright, so that was it for this week's update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone!